talking softly Oh, I turned on all the lights, the TV and the radio Still I can't escape the ghost of you What is happening to me? Crazy some would say Where is the life that I recognize? Got away There's an ordinary world somewhere I have to find And as I try to make my way through the ordinary world I will learn to survive Welcome to my tutorial of Ordinary World. Now I can't take complete credit for this um, interpretation that I've got of the song. It's actually from a, another YouTuber and I've left a link to his video um, right now so you can have a look at that. Um, and I've borrowed a lot of his chords and things from there. Um, also I have made it my own as well to a certain degree. So this song ha is quite a challenge for intermediate sing and players. Um, there's quite a lot of chords, quite a lot of movement up and down the fretboard. As we go through the lesson, any chords that I think are different or unusual from the normal beginner chords, I'll just put them in a box on the screen so you can see how to play them. Um, so as I said, not entirely for beginners. Um, the first chord that we're looking for, well, this, this is the sequence. I'll just play it for you slowly. Okay, so you can see there's quite a handful of chords there. I'll take you through the rhythm pattern as well, but let's go through that first chord. So the first chord is a B power chord of sorts. So that's first, second fret on the A string. So I label the strings Eddie 8, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie as we go down. Then ring finger on the D string, on the fourth fret and pinky finger stuck underneath. We're gonna be doing this sort of thing a lot. This chord shape's used a lot. And what we're doing is we're just holding down two, four, four. Everything else is zeros. The bottom string is a zero. The top string, we can mute with our middle finger if we want, deliberately touching it so that it's not making a sound. And we can also be accurate on our right hand. So that's the first chord. I'm just gonna call that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna call that a B just for the sake of things. And now let's look at the rhythm pattern that I use throughout that. So it's. So it's down, down, up, 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 down, up, down. And just notice that bet between the first two downs, there's a little bit of space. Now I'm gonna talk about misses a little bit. You might be missing naturally, so if you are, great. But it's down, miss, 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 down, miss, miss, up, miss, up, miss, up, down, up, down, up, down, miss, 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 down, miss, miss, up, miss, up, miss, up, down, up, down. A little slower still. Then on to the next chord. So this one is a bit of a challenge, still even for me now. So it's index finger on fret two on the G string, um, ring and middle finger on fret four on the A and the D, and thumb coming over to the thickest string to make this chord here. Now there is another on the second fret. Now there is another way that you can do this as well. Actually, no, there isn't. Not really. I was just thinking maybe there was, but there isn't. So thumb over on fret two to do the Hendrix grip and then fret two on the G string and then four on the A, on the D and the A string. Strumming all six strings with the bottom two strings open. Because they're B and E, they're part of the key of E, which this song is in, and therefore they can stay pedaled throughout the song. Pedaled means they keep playing throughout the song and they sound nice. So that's the second chord. We're going to call that F sharp. We'll call it F sharp star. Let's call it that. So we've got B, down, up, 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 down, up, F sharp star, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay. Next chord we have is a D suspended second, so not as hard as it sounds. Make your regular D chord, but lift up the middle finger off fret two on the E string. Okay, so you're two on the G and three on the B. Strum the bottom four. The rhythm pattern's different for this. We're gonna go down, 
down, down, up. And it's just a half bar, so we're not doing it for half as long as the other two chords. So this is down, 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 up into A suspended second over C sharp. So that means index a middle finger on fret two on the D and the G string, and then pinky finger on fret four on the A string to get that C sharp. Strum the bottom five. And it's the same rhythm pattern there. Down, 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 up. So it's D suspended, A over C sharp, Good, so far up to that point. B, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, F sharp, start, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, D suspended, down, down, up, A, sus A suspended, second over C sharp, down, 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 up. Then into this chord. So it's fret seven on the A string, and fret nine on the D and the G. Now it's making the same chord shape that we had in that first chord, which we'll call the B for now. So it's kind of, it's that chord shape slid up to fret seven, nine and nine. And we'll call that um, an E. And you can strum all six strings for that. It is an E, but it's not. Um, strum all six strings. Back to the normal rhythm. Down, down, miss, 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 down, miss, miss, up, miss, up, miss, up, down, up, down. Okay, so then what happens is that's our order of the chords for the chorus and the intro, okay? So great, we've killed two birds with one stone there, right? So we've got B, down, up, 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 down, up, F sharp star, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, D suspended, A over C sharp, down, down, up, E, down, up, and then we repeat that. That's where I was singing the lead guitar solo over that. Now, when we do it the second time, the chord progression, we don't go up to the E again. Instead, when we come from this, we go to this chord, okay, which is a beautiful little chord. Fret three on the A string, on and middle finger on fret three also on the B string, and ring finger on fret four. Sorry, fret four on the D string. Okay, it's a funny little chord. There it is there. I don't want to get too close. It'll go out of focus, but like that there, you see? Okay, so that's the chord you want to practice leading from, coming from this to that, which you strum and hold. So we go D suspended, A over C sharp, and hold, two, three, four. And then we're into our verses, okay? So... Let's have a look at the verses. Now, this shape that we had as our chord our B, I want you to slide that shape up to fret four, the same shape we also had on fret seven in the song, but this time we're doing it as a C sharp. So that's fret four on the A string, fret six on the D and the G. Strumming bottom five strings. Same rhythm pattern. So one, two, Then we go up to E, down, down, up. And then we take it just that step further still to the highest we've been so far, but still the same shape, all right? Still this kind of power chordy shape with the octave. So we're going from fret seven, nine, nine to fret nine, 11, 11 up here. So nine on the A string, 11 on the D, 11 on the G. Okay, so we're gonna call that chord, uh, well, we're gonna call that an F sharp. It's an F sharp again. Um, F sharp, star, star, let's call it that. So, we're going C sharp, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, so we're up to this, up to this here, back down to this. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about timing in this part, because the timing is a little funny. It's a bar of 4-4 four, four, followed by a bar of 7-8. So what does that mean to... <clears throat> to count. Well, listen. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two. So you can see that there's no and of four as I move down here. And it gives this feeling of like we're starting the next bar really early. 
But that's how the band play the song. And it's really important to integrate that because it, it adds a really nice el rhythmical element to our song and breaks up the 4-4. Four -four. So I'll do it slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two. Okay, so from this part, it's down, down, up, down, down, down. So there's no down up at the end. It's down, down into the new bar. All right, so work on that. Work on that feel. Watch my video. Let watch my video performance of it. Feel where that's happening. So it's a bar of four, four, one and two and three and four, and then a bar of seven, eight, one and two and three and four, one. Then we're into the next bar for four, four. So the first time round, we've got this C sharp. Star, star, back to C sharp. E. And then going down to an F sharp, proper F sharp. So that's a bar chord on the second fret, middle ring and pinky finger on the uh, fourth fret on the A and D string, and middle finger on the third fret on the G. Okay, so slowly, first time round. Second time round, up to E. Now in my video performance, I actually don't do that, but I wish I had it, because it sounds great. This is second time round. Okay, so that's where the vocals, you know, came in from a rain, a tune, all that stuff that happens there. Okay, so when we do it the second time round, So that's your first chord for the bridge. We then go to a G sharp minor seven, so bar the fourth fret, all six strings with the ring finger or the pinky, whatever you're comfortable with on fret six on the A. Same rhythm. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. Then we're going to a, what's called a D sharp seven. So we're gonna bar the bottom five strings on the sixth fret, and our ring finger is going to be on fret eight on the D and fret eight on the B. Down, miss, 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 down, miss, miss, up, up, down, 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 down. And then that moves to the E that we've had in the verses. So to recap that for you, we've got. Change the rhythm to all down strums. One and two and three and four. And, and then we're into our chorus, which is the same chords as we learned in the intro. B. I want the sharp star. There's an ordinary bass expansive. On the C sharp and we're going to strum this chord again to lead into our next verse where we go round in a circle. Now, after I've done this, and I do that the second time, rather than go into the next verse, you know, that part, um, there's a little bit of lead line that I tend to do. Now, it was never set in stone. But that's what it was always meant to be. When I did it live in the performance that you may have seen, it it didn't quite turn out like that. So what I'm doing is, is I'm doing the C-sharp bar on fret four with ring and pinky on fret six on the D and G. This gives us a suspended second chord. And I'm going A string, D, E, B, G. Then fret seven with the pinky, and then going E, B, G, then fret six with the pinky. So it's, 
then I'm hammering the middle finger to make it in a minor shape. So that's uh, a string, B string, sorry, on the fifth fret. And I'm going down, up, down, up. So I'm strumming and hammering it. Up, down, up, F sharp chord. I'll do that one last time. So it's... Sorry. Then we're into the next verse, which is exactly the same as the first verse. I've already explained it to you. Then there's another pre-chorus where we're... Then we've got another chorus, okay? And actually all of the components in the song there are pretty much there. When I go into the third verse and we come off the back of this creepy chord, I just do an arpeggio of the same chords. So all I'm doing there is A, D, B, G, B, A, D, G, A, D, B, G, B, D. Okay, you can see that there. And don't forget the 7, 8. you can be onto the F sharp to arpeggio as well. So really that is the whole song. It's then just another chorus, which is the same chord progression that we've learned. Um, and finishing this one in the key of E up here is absolutely fine. So you've got this. And then the ending every the same chords which we do twice and I finish on the E up there okay so there you go I hope you've enjoyed that um, keep on playing and I'll see you again soon for some more lessons <laughs>